expect the raiders are going to target it oh, and the humans are going to have to run. The humans you only have two arcing towers up and those arcing towers aren't even uh, target firing so uh, the, t the peasants need to build towers so what are the peasants doing? And the, oh man the spellbreaker is going to get targeted one after another getting ensnared and targeted by the grounds and spellbreaker is going to back away and the mountain king is a tank some damage here mountain king is not doing his part and Blade Master is going to probably get the Spellbreaker and the tower is going to get taken down. And um, still, Lord lost, has lost a significant amount of units as well. I don't, don't get me wrong on that. Kotal Beast has the sorcerers in her, in, in her, in, in him. Uh, what is the gender of Kotal Beast? I don't know. But the Star Sorcerer is going to get devoured. And the Mountain King needs to, oh, Mountain King needs to TP out. Uh, and after being ensnared and all, so successfully defended by the defended by the orc player. Now the I believe that's the end for the human player. It's just a matter of time. The orc is gonna push all the way straight into his base. As human players, he decide to expand, and uh, uh, I don't think he can hold his expansion with his standing army here. Um, or can the play master can pick up a, okay, it's not a score of healing beast, but a lesser potion, less potion, lesser healing, not lesser vulnerability, rather. Um, <laughs> that's dispel on the <laughs> using the priest to, to dispel the spell or spare link on the orc army is pretty nice, fresh to see, but uh, I, don't, I really don't think this is gonna work out for the human player. I will, I will use that Kotal Beast to devour this water until it's so freaking annoying in the middle of a freaking battle. Um, where is that Kotal Beast going, by the way? <laughs> it's freaking uh, chicken with a head cut off. And, uh, yeah. More sp uh, and the casters just don't stand a chance versus the Orgmina or units. You, you gotta have some tower. Have some tower or have some footmen to, to be the frontline units for you, otherwise. These spoil breakers aren't gonna stand chance from the uh, versus the orc uh, grunts and the raiders. Because the raider can ensnare you and grunts can focus fire you, there goes your spell breaker and there goes your game. Um, I don't know what the human is gonna try to do here. Maybe if I were the human, I would go turtle and expand like an EV would and have uh, orc figure out a way to counter that. <laughs> um, uh, it looks like the raider is going to get healed, and I don't think Orcs is going to lose a unit any from here now because the uh, Shadow Hunter is about to hit level 5. And once the Shadow Hunter hits level 5, you can just GG right there, uh, being the situation as like as human um, as a, this human is, myth as myth is. Now he, Orcs are going to run, I don't know why though. One more kill, the Shadow Hunter is going to hit level 5, and yeah, I think. Everybody watching this game is gonna know what the level three healing wave is. <laughs> it's a, it's pra practically like three holy lights right there. <laughs> the healing wave with the spirit link, and the one I'm told is gonna get focused down. And the AM is getting caught. I don't know what AM is doing all the way deep in there, but the Amanda is gonna go first, and the AM is probably next. Oh, yeah, one more snare on the AM. The AM's your history, and uh, human doesn't have any towers in his thing, so he's screwed. <laughs> yep, there goes uh, AM's getting focused down. There's the uh, snare. I don't, I don't think Morgan wants to waste another hex. There goes the AM. So GG by Myth. Hope you guys enjoy this game. And not as not as exciting as the previous game, but uh, man, oh man, I'm drained. Hope you guys enjoy the game and see you in. Uh, I think I don't know.